I'm Kelsey, the homemade millennial, and I wanted to bring you a little bit of a different video today. Because it is the end of March, it's almost April, so we are getting into storm season here. Now where we live, our main threat is tornadoes. Thankfully, our home has a storm shelter. We just moved here a few months ago. It was also super important for us to have a 72 hour emergency kit that we will be prepared and that we would have the items necessary for our family. I went to the FEMA.gov website. They do have a great little checklist on there of the items that they recommend for your kit. And as always, if you haven't already, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and press the notification bell. And please give this video a like if you enjoy it. It's really important to me to get this information out there for anyone who may need it. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on my kit. I'm basically making my own first aid kit. So I have got rubbing alcohol. Also got some wet wipes, rolled gauze, a couple packages of band-aids. Got some medical tape. Elastic bandage, triple antibiotic ointment, ibuprofen, and just some vinyl gloves. They're not medical grade gloves, but they will do. I put this all in just a shoe storage box, and I just made a label that I'm going to put on the front of it. And there is my first aid box. Okay, now I'm just going to be putting everything in my emergency kit, and this is a 66 quart large storage container. We like these because they have the handles that secure it a little easier and will make everything pretty much safe from any water damage. I'm going to kind of categorize some of the things into a bag. Got a change of clothes for myself, a change of clothes for my husband, we just put these in Ziploc bags, and then a change of uh, clothes for my son, and then I also have several diapers in here as well. I'm put that first aid kit in. I have three days worth of food for the small dog and three for the large. Of course, another necessity is toilet paper, so I got a couple. And as for food, really good thing to have is oatmeal, because I can just mix this with water and it's an instant meal. And there's about nine servings in this little sandwich baggie. And per my husband's request, crackers. Peanuts are good for a snack. They're also good in protein. I've got several of the little squeezy pouches for my son. And then just a fruit and nut blend. So things that are not going to spoil for several months. Foam bowl. I can't say this. Foam bowls. I've got a sippy cup for my son and then I've also got a little pacifier in there for him. He's actually eating his lunch right now watching me do this. Got a set of trash bags, diaper wipes. I've got a mini bottle of bleach. I believe you can mix it 10 parts water to one part Clorox for disinfecting. Large flashlight, do make sure before you pack it that it does work and it does. Extra batteries, duct tape. I bought this, this is actually like a syringe infuser for food, but I bought it in case I do need to use the Clorox, I can measure that out. Can opener, we may also have some canned goods down there. This is an eight in one tool. I've got another smaller flashlight. I thought that we had just some stick matches, but I have no idea where they are. So I did test this and it still works. It's a lighter. A few things for my son specifically. Um, I have a coloring book for him. A couple of books, some flashcards, some crayons to keep him occupied, and of course just a little dump truck for him to play with. I have a file folder here that has copies of our identification, bank account, insurance information, a couple of pens, and then a notepad as well. And since I am huge on labeling, I did put a label on it. Just to say emergency kit, I do plan on keeping this in our garage. If we hear that there's gonna be bad storms possible, we'll go ahead and move it into the storm shelter. I do also have a couple of large vacuum seal bags that I'm going to put blankets, one for each of us, and also another one for some towel. And here is our emergency shelf. This is actually in our garage, but we've got 32 bottles of water for the three of us that should last us um, well over three days, and also for the dogs two gallons of distilled water. We've got multiple cans of beans and green beans and vegetables. 
And then we've also got our emergency kit there. And the blankets and the towels, we're gonna go ahead and keep those in the storm shelter since they'll be in the vacuum sealed bags. They should be protected. So thank you guys again for watching. And today was a very important video for me, so I appreciate you being here. If there's anything that I forgot or anything that is pivotal to your emergency kit, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.